How's it going, everyone? We're about to do a 30 minute upper body workout with warm up and cool down included. I'll be using two 10 pound dumbbells as well as two 15 pound dumbbells using the heavier set of weights for just your chest and back exercises. Now make sure you're choosing your weights based on your own strength level using whatever you have at home today. Intervals will be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off for the main workout. So gather your equipment and get ready to feel the burn. All right, let's get into our warm up today. First up, reach those arms overhead, then row it back with resistance. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, row it back. Standing cat cow, open up through the chest, arch through the back, then scoop through the belly, close it up. Good, finding mobility through that spine. Gaze up, gazing down. Wrist circles, warm up those wrists. Switch directions. All right, shampoo arms, take your right arm, scoop it under the chin, shampoo it around, and then reach it back. This one is a little bit tough to coordinate, so do the best you can and modify if needed with just arm circles. Good, so scooping it under, palm under, shampoo around, then reach back. Other arm, left arm, scoop it under the chin, shampoo it around, reach as far back as you can. Punches to finish off our warm up today. Good twist. All right, warm up complete. Let's grab your medium set of dumbbells. I have my 10 pound weight. For the first move in your workout, you're leaning forward two tricep extensions, then two bent arm lateral raises here. So you're leaning forward, flat back, bend through those knees, then bringing the body upright, lifting from those elbows. Good, lean forward, two each. Good, getting straight on into it. All right, 15 second break. Then next up, continue with those triceps. Three reps overhead, then bring it to one shoulder. Press overhead, three reps, bring it to the other shoulder. Dumbbells together, here we go. Inhale, bend. Exhale to extend. Good. Make sure those elbows are slightly in front of you here and make sure they're not splaying out to the side. Good. Keep them in alignment with your shoulders, so about shoulder width. Good. 
Okay, let's work the biceps. We have two regular curls, then two hammer curls, palms are facing in. So two with palms face up, two with palms facing in. Here we go. One, two, hammer curl, palms in. One, two, good. Okay, so we have a wide bicep curl, doing a half curl, then lift the knee, you're holding your arms out like this. Half curl, knee lift. Woo. Work those biceps. Here we go, challenging our balance as well. With a knee lift, core is activated. Drop one of your dumbbells. Dumbbell comes into the right hand. And we have single arm shoulder press. And we have a pulse and full. Right arm shoulder press, let's go. Pulse and full. Good, making sure that elbow is not directly to the side. You're keeping it slightly forward for a better positioning on that shoulder there. Good, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Switch sides, demo comes into the left hand, same thing. I'm just making sure that we're really standing tall and not leaning over for that shoulder press. Here we go, pulse, full, good. Okay, grab the other dumbbell. Your medium set of dumbbells here. And we have a side bend, then lateral raise. Side bend, other side, lateral raise. Here we go. So a bit of standing oblique work there. Lateral raise, good. Slight bend through those elbows. Keep the elbows lifted and supported as always for those Lateral shoulder raises. Good. For the last 15 seconds, keep it going with those lateral shoulder raise raises for a burnout. Keep going. You've got this. Exhale, inhale. Okay, 
Get rid of those dumbbells. Let's switch it out. If you have them with the heavier set of dumbbells, we're gonna work the back. So you're leaning forward, underhand grip. So palms facing away from you. Exhale, row it back. Inhale to extend. Let's go flatten out that back. Upper body is lengthened. I want you to squeeze and hold at the top. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, work the back. Squeeze and hold. Nice. Okay, you're coming to the floor, bring those dumbbells. And we have a hover knee row. So one per side, one, two, tap it down, lift it up to modify, keep those knees on the floor. Here we go, those knees should be hovering no more than about two inches off the ground. Good. We do not want those hips all the way in the sky there. Core is strong. Almost there. Get rid of those dumbbells. Whew. Everyone's favorite, side plank. Come on to your left elbow. And we have a hip dip, then leg lift. Modify with that bottom knee down. Let's do it, push through. Inhale, hip dip, exhale, leg lift, good. Switch to the other side. Come on to your right elbow, same thing. Let's go, you've got this. Hip dip, leg lift, good, push yourself. Good, see what you're capable of today. You might surprise yourself. Press those shoulders down. All right, relax onto the back. Let's work the core. We're holding in a crunch position here. Extend one leg, then reach up a little bit further. Extend, reach up a bit further, join in. Extend, lift up even more.
All right, come up part way. We have four mason twist, three, four, then two ankle taps. So lifting and reaching for that inner ankle there. Lean back, two, three, four. Good, make sure you're twisting, not just with those arms, but with the shoulders and upper body too for the mason twist. Good, lean back even more. Grab two of your medium set of dumbbells. My two 10 pound weights, then make your way back onto the floor. Take your time. We have pressed Dumbbells together, knee, lift, good. Do the best you can today. I know this is quite a quick paced workout. We are going, we are getting that heart rate up as well. Good, lift that upper body off the ground, work the core as well as the chest. All right, skull crushers. So palms are facing away from you towards the legs. Dumbbells together, the ends of the dumbbells are together. Inhale to bend, exhale to extend. Elbows are above those shoulders. Let's go, working the triceps. But making sure you stop those dumbbells before they actually touch your forehead. All right, let's stand up. We're gonna continue the triceps with these same dumbbells. We're topping back, tricep extension, step together, tap back, tricep extension. Those top backs are optional there. You can always just stick with feet about hip width. Good, elbows drawing back the whole time. Squeeze as you extend. Okay, we have half hammer curl here. So half, open, close. Back to working the biceps. All right, half, rotate out, rotate back to center.
All right, bicep curl slow lowers. So palms are facing forward. Lift up, then slow as we extend. Let's go. Good. Slowly lower on the eccentric part of this movement as we lengthen the muscles. Good. Ooh, control it. Good, super slow for the last few seconds. Okay, ditch one of the dumbbells. We're gonna give those arms a little break for a second. Step together, step twist, standing core. Little active rest right here. Step one, two, three, twist. All right, grab your other medium set of dumbbells here. We have upright row, then forward shoulder raise. Back to the shoulders. Here we go. Upright row, standing tall, forward shoulder raise. Good, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears here. Okay, next movement, two shoulder press. Rotate it in, rotate it back out. Let's go. Good, keep those elbows lifted as we rotate in. Rotate back into position. Exhale, inhale. Good, breathe through it. 15 seconds. All right, and we're leaning forward. We have a narrow row and a wide fly. So work the back then work the back of the shoulders as you take it wide. Let's do it. Good. Row and squeeze. Good, elbows lifted for the wide fly. Do your best to control that movement.
Get rid of the dumbbells. Come to the floor. We have narrow push-ups. So hands are about shoulder width. Two here, elbows graze past the side body. Then two side knees here, side knee crunches. Let's go. Drop those knees if needed. Good, try and do as many as you can without dropping those knees first. All right, grab the heavier set of dumbbells if you've got them there. Laying on your back, continuing with your chest. And we have wide chest press here. Here we go. So shoulders, shoulder blades are together. Inhale, bend it side. Exhale, press overhead. For a challenge, we're gonna do pulse and pull. Next move, take it narrow. So palms are facing in. You're doing a narrow row and chest press. Good, narrow chest press there. Here we go, exhale, press, inhale, row. Almost there, 10 seconds. Good, then we're gonna drop these dumbbells after this. All right, get rid of those dumbbells. We're gonna finish off with some core work. So extend those legs, we have full sit up, reaching towards one direction, one forward corner. Sit up, reach to the other corner, let's go. Go to reach forward. onto your back, reach overhead, then lift one knee and reach and frame that leg. Arms overhead, then frame that leg, arms on either side. Here we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lifting that upper body off the ground. Even more, lift, lift, lift.
Okay, this is your final move right here. Arms by your side, extend those legs, turn them out from the hips. We have crisscross legs, you're slowly lowering, then bring them back up. As always, press that low back down into your mat. Let's go. Again, if you want more of a challenge for this final move, you're lifting that upper body as well, head, neck, and shoulders. Good, you're almost there. We're gonna add a challenge for the last few seconds of this workout. Keep those legs down for the last 10 seconds. Keep them low. Keep going. Deep breaths. All right, bring those knees to chest, give them a squeeze, and workout is complete. All right, let's stand on up and move into our cool, our cool down here. Right arm comes across the body, pull it in towards you, stretch out the back of those shoulders. Here we go, pull it in. and switch arms. All right, tricep stretch with the right arm. Bring it overhead, draw that elbow back with the help of the other arm. Switch arms. Step those feet nice and wide. We have forward fold with an optional clasp of the hands behind you and draw them away from you here. Good, you can soften through those knees. Good. Stretching through the front of the shoulders. Good, and release your arms. Bend through those knees, slowly roll on up. Head is last to arrive. Two final breaths together. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Amazing work, everyone. You did it. Okay, if you felt the burn today, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more 30-minute upper body workouts similar to this. See you in the next one.